Shalom Chaverim, it's Hebrew time. Hey everybody, Rabbi David here from Torah Tech Tips, where I strive to give you great tips for your great Torah. Today we're going to talk all about how to bring Ivrit, how to bring Hebrew into our digital or online presentations, our classes, our streaming, whatever it is that we're doing. And I want to share with you a few different tips today about how to get that done. And we're going to jump right in with the most simple and the most obvious thing to do, and that is to enable a Hebrew keyboard on your device. Whether you're on a Mac or a PC or an iPad, wherever you are, you can turn on a Hebrew keyboard. You just go into Preferences, Languages, and then you can add that Hebrew keyboard. I've already done that here on my iPad. I've enabled this Hebrew keyboard. And so what that means is that now I can jump into any program, anything at all, and I can type Hebrew. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll add a heading here. I'll uh, turn on my Hebrew keyboard. I'll type Shalom. Let me make that a little bigger for you so you can see it. There we go. Now I'm typing this now in, um, uh, in Safari. I'm, excuse me, in Canva. And Canva actually has some really fantastic Hebrew fonts that you can use. So you just highlight your text or click on your text and you can change that font. They have script fonts. They have um, regular, uh, uh, you know, um, what's it called? Non-script. Block fonts, excuse me. Uh, they have lots of different options for you. Really, really great stuff. Now the problem is, is that this of course does not have any nikudot. It doesn't have any vowels. And often when you're teaching, especially with uh, in teaching situations with children, it's important to have the nikudot, to have the vowels in there. And that's where these two other tools come in really handy. The first, again, is going to be pretty obvious, and I'm sure many of you have used it, and that is Safari. Safari has the entire Tanakh, the vast majority of liturgy, and the vast majority of rabbinics all in their uh, library and you can access it, you can copy it, you can use that text and the vast majority of it is vocalized for you. So if I'm teaching liturgy, for example, I jump into liturgy, Sidur Ashkenaz, and maybe I wanna look at, I wanna teach the Shema. So I'm gonna click through here and get to the Shema. And then I can simply copy this text, go back over to whatever program I'm using, I'll put in a subheading and I'll pop that in there. And now I've got that vocalized text. Now that is a little backward, so we're gonna, there we go. Now it looks like it's uh, it's written from right to left. And again, I can go in and I can change that uh, font. I can make it look beautiful, do whatever I want with it. But what if you need to share something in Hebrew that doesn't isn't found on Safari? Or you've scoured the web and you can't find it with vocalization, with the vowels in there? I've got a great tool for you today. Let's go ahead and copy this word, shalom. All right, we're gonna copy that and we're gonna to go to a website called Nakdan. Nakdan is a part of Morphix, which is a Hebrew English dictionary online. We're gonna go ahead and paste that word and then the match is gonna happen when I press the button Nikud. Now you might not be able to see that. Let me copy it and we'll bring it back into our, uh, our Canva sheet here. Again, you can do this with any program. I'm using Canva just because I have it open. I'm gonna paste it right in there and I've got the vocalization. That looks a little off, but that's actually because of the font that I'm using. So if I were to change the font, it would look a little better. Let me go back in here, pick a semi-normal font and see if that works there. Well, that's not, that's hardly normal, but you can see that the vowel was put back in the right place. You can do this with any text. Now, like with most tools, there is a free tier and a paid tier. So with a free tier, you can do a few words. Um, and I did that for a while. I would open, you know, um, incognito windows to try and get what I needed. Eventually I ended up paying for uh, Nakdan Morphix. It is well worth it. I'm using it constantly. 
um, you're going to be able to find links to all of these down below in the description. And while you're visiting these different websites online, come on over and visit www.toratechguide.com where I link to all of the tools that I use along with a lot of the hardware that I'm using, the software, and links to all of these videos that I'm sharing with you. Friends, I hope you're using lots of Torah and lots of Hebrew in your teaching online. You can enable that Hebrew keyboard, you can use Safari, and you can use Knockdown Morphix, and then bring it all in, make it look beautiful, fantastic with Canva. By the way, if you wanna learn about Canva, that was last week's video, you're gonna to have to check that one out. I hope I'll see you next week on another episode of Torah Tech Tips. Bye.